Hi guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a first impressions video for you. Um, I love doing first impressions videos. Honestly, they are more fun than doing full reviews where I have to make notes and like test things multiple times before I give you like a full review. Uh, first impressions, first thoughts, first feelings about a fragrance and making videos about that is most fun for me. So <laughs> the whole goal of this channel for me is to have fun doing it. So I actually want to make a point to do a lot more first impressions videos. What I'm probably going to do um, from now on, well, not just from now on, just a lot so this year is smell a fragrance, give you guys my quick thoughts about it. And then if I have anything else to add about it, I will write it down in the description box, um, my feelings after I've worn it. So I hope you guys don't mind that. I will be still still doing some reviews here and there when I feel like it, but I have so many samples to go through. It's hard to review like every single one and um, that would just take forever. And um, you know, I just, like I said, I love first impressions, doing first impressions. So I hope you guys don't mind that. It'll be something similar to like Sentimus and I'm blabbing, I know. <laughs> so let's get into this. Today I have a fragrance here and it's from the House of X Nihilo. I believe that is a French niche brand that is very, very, very expensive. I have tried the line a little bit here and there. Not, not a lot, but I have tried some and I really, really liked the Oud fragrance, the Oud Vendôme. That was a beautiful, beautiful Oud fragrance. I've talked about it briefly in my Oud, Oud Palooza video, my last one, I believe. So I want to try some more from this house. So this one is called Queer Celeste. Queer is obviously the French word for leather. Celeste. What is Celeste? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe like Celestial, maybe. <laughs> so, so maybe like a spacey leather. I don't know. I don't speak French. It's just a guess. So let's get this on a piece of paper and I'll let you guys know right away what I think about it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so yes, right away you do smell leather. The leather in here, right from the beginning, right away I noticed that it's a sour leather. And I know that sounds gross, sour leather, like sour anything doesn't, doesn't sound appealing unless it's like sweet and sour chicken or something like that. But yeah, this is a sour, bitter, almost pungent kind of leather that again it doesn't sound nice when I describe it that way but when I smell it it smells nice it really does it smells like leather with a kick or leather with a punch if you know what I mean so the leather isn't in the leather in here isn't skanky it's not oody It smells like a very dry, a dry leather. And now I'm smelling it more. I'm getting a little bit of a, a, a feeling of maybe there's some iris in here. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really nice, pleasant fragrance, definitely. So I'm picturing like, say, if you have this really nice new designer leather purse and then you have like your makeup bag in it that's what it smells like the leather is getting really really soft now on the paper and that's really nice actually i have like nothing bad to say about it so far yeah just a really soft inoffensive authentic smelling non-sweet, realistic, hyper-realistic, I think, leather fragrance. I don't get much more than that. Not a lot of sweetness at all. <laughs> That's 
the first thing I notice in fragrances when I test things that it whether it's sweet or not and this one is not at all but it's nice it's a nice it's a very nice kind of leather so yeah I will be wearing this today as my scent of the day and I can let you guys know some more thoughts maybe if I have anything more to say about it in the, in the description box let me just pull up the notes in this fragrance so I can let you know what's in here. Queer Celeste. Okay. So, this is a woody leather fragrance and there are a lot of notes in here. In the top we have black pepper, violet leaf, galbanum, uh, and galbanum and in the mid we have ambretta and osmanthus and in the base we have patchouli cypriol and akigala wood and i'm looking at this and it's actually you know what <laughs> i'm going to read up the notes properly because they have that little right up here i'm sorry they have the little right up here but it's different from what i'm seeing in the notes list here so in the top, bear with me, we have black pepper, violet leaf, galbanum, and sage. In the middle, we have ambret seed, osmanthus, jasmine, and tea. And in the base, we have patchouli, cypriol oil, or nagar motha. I don't know what that is. Akigala wood, <clears throat> excuse me. We have some more ambresque. Ambrette musk. We have leather and musk. So, yeah, you guys. I like that. So, I think that what I thought was the iris smelling thing in here is probably the violet leaf because now I'm smelling it and it smells like I'm getting some leathery violet leaf as the most prominent notes. But it's a nice fragrance. I like it. I I know it's expensive. I probably wouldn't buy it because of because of that, but as you know just based on the smell itself I think it's great it's good okay guys so those were my quick thoughts on ex nihilo queer celeste if you guys have tried this please let me know in the comments what you think I'd love to hear your opinion or if you have tried anything from this house and you have any recommendations please do let me know so I can get my nose on it and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time see ya bye